Let me start off by saying there's a very thin line between Veronica and Veroniga. Veronica, a movie where some girl does a seance to talk to her dead father and a whole lot of creepy shit ends up happening. And yeah, I know, you see this, delete your comment, okay? We're not here for this. We're here for Veronica. I'm gonna preface this, I'm going to preface, I am going to, I am going to preface this by saying I held off on watching this movie when I found out it was a foreign film with subtitles, only because I feel like reading subtitles kills my immersion in the movie and you know what this proved me completely wrong this movie is engaging as hell i completely regret not watching it after all this fucking time the tension and the suspense built in this movie was fucking perfect this was honestly the first time that i can remember ever actually getting kind of paranoid while watching a scary movie with the lights on and that actually reminds me i need to change a goddamn light bulb because every time i seem to watch a horror movie that's when that light wants to fucking flicker. The movie is an hour and 45 minutes long, but it really didn't feel that long because of how excellent the writing is and the acting is superb. Round of applause for the chick who played Veronica. What's her name? Uh, sorry. For the chick who played Veronica or Veronica. Sandra Escasina? Round of applause for Sandra Escasina. You know what, can, can, can we get a Drake clap, please? Come on, Drake, clap, come on. Woo! Sandra Escasina, baby. This girl's acting was on point. As a matter of fact, everyone's acting was on point. Even the child actor's acting was, was on point. I didn't sense a weak performance out of any character in the movie. With the runtime being just short of two hours, the pacing seemed to go by pretty quickly, especially in act one. Act two, there was a little bit of a lull and I felt a little restless, but I think that's because by this time I've been awake for 21 straight hours. God, I'm so Tired. But once act three started, holy shit. The final 40 minutes of this movie was fantastic. I wouldn't say perfect. I would definitely not perfect. I would just like to say that less is definitely more. There wasn't much that I disliked. Uh, granted, there were a couple s scenes and sequences, mainly during the final act that I. Uh, <laughs> I kind of laughed out loud at, but you know, that was just, I'm just gonna, gonna disregard that because that didn't totally kill the movie for me. I, I, I got more scared when I didn't see what was going on rather than what I did see. If you catch my drift. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. This movie also happened to talk to me on a spiritual level. No pun intended, I guess. And that's because, yes, a Ouija board is heavily featured in this movie. And, well, you know, me and my friends, we messed with the Ouija board quite a lot a few years back. And I believe in all that shit. That shit is scary. Children, don't try that at home. Please don't. Actually, you know what? Try it. You won't. Pussy. <laughs> but anyway, this movie is 100% an emotional roller coaster when it comes to making me feel anxiety, terror, a little bit of sadness, more anxiety, more terror. This movie is littered with scenes that just build up so much suspense and just, dude, this is how horror should be done from here on out. I had a good time watching it and it's actually one of the very few horror movies that I can find myself watching multiple times without getting bored. And I also feel for many years this movie will definitely hold up and age very well. Everything was just done so excellently. Now does the movie Veronica really live up to all the hype that's been surrounding it as being one of the most scariest movies of all time and one of the movies that no one can finish because of how scary it is. On one hand, I can definitely see why people would say that. There were tons of scenes that just did nothing but just build up so much goddamn suspense. But on the other hand, I would say the only people who won't be able to finish this kind of movie are people who are extremely sensitive to any film in a horror genre. Me being a horror movie veteran that I am, and I am not a pussy. <laughs> uh.
Oh, that felt something there. Stay tuned next week when I continue my Kills Ranked series with your next. And after that, my next major franchise will be Saw. So be on the lookout for that one. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you send me a screenshot of you liking this video to any one of my social media links posted in the description and on the end card, I will follow you back on any and all of your social media accounts. My name is Sean Bass. This is The Killer Countdown. Make sure to subscribe to join The Killer Countdown clan. Just don't go burning any crosses now.